I would say Romeo is one of the most decisive characters in all of Shakespeare. Hamlet would go to be or not to be and then go into a giant soliloquy. For Romeo, he would say the question, pick it, and then sprint out the door. Everything that Juliet is experiencing in the play, she's experiencing for the first time. Which is why when she meets Romeo, it's this magical experience because for the first time, there's somebody that she connects to and s that sees the world the same way that she does. Romeo and Juliet stand apart from the world that they've been born into, and they're kind of in their own little love bubble. It stands apart from what the adults in their surrounding world are privy to and what their, their goals are. I mean, Romeo and Juliet should live happily ever after. The only reason they don't is because of this power of hate. So this story is one that everyone has heard. But what I really find fascinating, what Peter's doing with it, is it's making it very accessible. This idea of redemption and really what that takes. Sometimes it takes the destruction of something incredibly beautiful and like intangibly so in order for people to wake up and listen and start having conversations so that change can happen.